We want to show you a tour of our tiny home on wheels, but first we need to clean it up. So we figured before we make it all clean and pretty, we should show you what it usually looks like. So this is our tiny mess. Everybody, um, we are about to show you our tiny home, um, and I know that on Instagram and all those other social media outlets, um, you see these beautiful insides. And uh, we're going to show you what it really looks like to live in a tiny home. Tiny space, um, regular living makes your mess look even messier. So check it out. So we're all cleaned up and uh, we'd love for you to come on in and let's show you around. Hey, welcome to our entryway, our foyer. It's also our bedroom. Over here you've got my dresser, all of my clothes, and a little bit of Jonathan's. And then you've got Jonathan's closet, where all of his clothes are. We're always looking for good storage solutions, so we've got these vertical little cubbies here. And all the command hooks that you could imagine. So right next to the bedroom is the bathroom. Now this is something that we recently redid. Um, we put in a nature's head composting toilet. Let's take a moment and share the five reasons we love our sponsor, Nature's Head Composting Toilet. One, conserve water. No flushing. It's completely waterless. Two, save money on campsites. No more pricey campsites. Boondock more. Three, no more stinky black tank. You'll thank me later. Four, dump less. And with just a few pieces, we're able to double our gray tank. Five, no odor. No odor! <sighs> Grab yours today at natureshead.net. Now back to the video. And then um, we redid the counter, the sink, everything. Um, to the right is our shower. Little stand-up shower pan. If you can't tell that we are millennial hipsters by all the pallet wood, now you know. Now our house is so big that you probably got lost. So let me remind you. Door, bathroom, kitchen. Don't get lost. So we've got storage up here where we keep our dishes and our storage containers and to-go containers. We've got storage down here where we keep all of our pots and pans, our cleaning rags. We don't use paper towel. And then we've got the ever famous spice rack. Now directly across from the kitchen is the refrigerator and the pantry. One of the things when we were picking out our camper um, was that it had to have a bigger 
refrigerator. We couldn't pick out a camper that had a mini fridge. So we got tons of storage. Um, obviously not as big as a regular refrigerator, but we make do. There's our dry storage. Now this is something that we need to change because there's a lot of space that's being unutilized. Fridge, kitchen, dining room, office. So Jonathan and a friend built this awesome table and we had the dinette that was out here and we just needed a lot more space. So we built these ottomans that have storage inside of them. So this is holding our reusable bags and underneath that is all of Jonathan's other kitchen equipment. And then behind here, we've got our Vitamix, our Instant Pot, snacks, all of my yoga stuff, essential oils, things like that. Inside of this guy, we've got all of our laundry stuff, things like that, cleaning supplies. And then over here, we've got our bookshelf our office area, all of our electronics. And then above here, we've got storage. So in our storage area, we like to keep things in bins. So we've got swim, we've got toiletries for travel, we've got medicine, we've got rain gear, and then we've got a lot more back in this direction too. And there's even some hidden storage back here. All right, so across from the dining area and our office is our lounge. Um, there used to be a couch here, but we dismantled it and turned it into kind of like a day bed thing. We threw some pillows. But the neat thing about this is that underneath we've got yoga storage, all our yoga mats, bolsters, meditation pillows, uh, foam rollers, all that is down there. And then up top, some more storage. We've got electronics, we've got our, um, our documents. And then in here we've got dog stuff. We've got decorations, dog treats, and then linens. And that concludes the entire house tour. I hope you didn't get lost along the way, and I hope you didn't run out of breath when you were climbing all those stairs to get to all the floors. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video, I stuttered. <coughs> hey everybody. Wait, do it again, here you go. Hey everybody, what am I saying? To follow our adventures. To follow, yeah. It was really good except for your thumb needs to come up higher. And more animation. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay up <laughs> to follow along. Do you know what you're gonna say? We wrote it out. Hey, hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and uh, give us a. No. <coughs> <laughs> Uh, we'd love to. <laughs> no, what should I say after this? Hit the subscribe. Follow along on our. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> to follow along with our tiny mouse. Yeah. There you go. Let's um. Let's stop recording.
And so here we are, 24 hours after cleaning the house, and it's just right back to where it was. Right back to where it was.